Hello, Cancer, and welcome to Gemini Soul. This is a reading for Cancer for the month of November. Cancer, uh, this may not resonate with all of you guys. This is meant to be a general reading, but when I was in you guys' energy, um, I was just hearing someone's afraid of your love. They're afraid of your love. Uh, community is coming out here. You may have met them in a community, in a job setting, a place, um, maybe some type of gathering. You could have met them on the internet. You could have met them Facebook, uh, Instagram, TikTok, I don't know. But Cancer, I just heard that somebody is afraid of your love. And I'm feeling that you're emotionally connected to them. Uh, that perhaps you see them in a light that makes you feel like they complete you. And it's what you've been waiting on. It's what you've been manifesting. I'm also hearing that this person's been through some things. And they may also be just trying to hide their emotions. Though they have very very intense emotions and fire for you. They know that you are the one. They may even be going through some healing at this time. Okay, guys, this may not resonate with all of you. If it does not, that's okay. Throw it out to the universe that can, for someone that can use it. Um, we're going to do a Celtic cross, but first let's get some messages out here from the universe. Under the bottom, you have a leg up. This person knows <clears throat> cancer. This person knows that life changes with you. They know that you're committal. They know that you're worthy of their love. This is what I'm hearing. All that glitters. They're afraid because I feel like you're glittering. You're, 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 what you're offering them is um beautiful it's shining it's your energy it's love it's happiness it's joy it's commitment you're offering this to someone and someone is so afraid of how you're showing up in this connection with them and they may be afraid because they feel that all that glitters may you know they say all that glitters isn't always uh golden but i feel this person sees that you don't wear a mask, that you are emotionally evolved, you're stable, and you know what it is that you want. Um, we have chopped wood. Um, this person can definitely be cleaning up some things in their life. They had to clean up some things in their life. They had to let go some things. Uh, I'm feeling broken relationship, disappointment in relationships. Um, and this could be you also cleaning up things and in your life, uh, I'm feeling like your emotions of how you showed up in connections, what you gave to connections, what you wanted out of connections. And it's, uh, you realize that you are golden, that you have a lot to offer though. You've been through some challenging relationships. I just feel cancer. This is about a relationship. We got TikTok. Like divine timing is here. I feel you're very connected to someone at this time. And you're trying to... I know, I just heard you... Yeah, you're trying to live your best life right now. You're trying to be open emotionally after going through certain situations, relationships that didn't work out. Balancing them out, giving a lot and not getting back what it is you felt you deserve. I feel you cleaned up a lot of that in your life. And now there's someone that, that, that you want to open up to and be there for. But this person is afraid of your love. This is all I keep hearing. And the leg up is like... feel like you're climbing a ladder, you may be success in your life, or maybe this person even feels that you're too good to be true. 
Uh, you're too good to to be what probably I don't know. I'm this energy is 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 weird. It's like. They just afraid to open up and really tell you how they feel. But I'm feeling this person is truly feeling you, Cancer. And I definitely feel that you are feeling this person. I'm feeling like there's someone you just want to spend time with, you just want to be with. The clock is ticking. Tick tock. You feel like it's just a matter of time before you and this person, if it's not that you have a deep, um, that this person is complete. I don't know. I'm hearing like this. Maybe there's distance in this relationship. Travel. I don't know. This is what I'm getting. Let me see what else. Let's see what else we have here. Spirit God, what is all that glitters here for cancer? All that glitters. I feel there's happiness and there's joy, sun, and emotional happiness here. Like, it's overwhelming. And I also feel like, you like you've done so much work on yourself and you've never, uh, I'm just hearing, never felt like this shine love on fear. Love will light up the darkness. Yeah, I think that whoever you're dealing with, they may have been in a place of disappointment in relationships and you're shining your love in on them, on their fears. Like your connection, your energy, your whole demeanor, the way you're showing up in this connection, this person fears it because they don't, They've been through a lot and it's hard for them to connect and understand. Like, why are you so happy? Why are you so loving? Why are you so caring? Why are you so committal after going through maybe even connections within your own? Maybe you've had conversation with this person. Let it out. Let it flow. Open up the heart to feel. I think you, like some of you cancers are trying to connect with someone that seems very difficult to for them to understand that now we do have the room out here, which means cleaning. I just feel like it's cleaning the house, the soul. <sighs> commitment. I'm hearing a lot about commitment. Someone wants a true commitment. Someone feels that someone is uh, supposed to be part of their journey. They are a soulmate that with this person, they can accomplish and do anything. Now, the energies could be interchangeable, Cancer. Someone could be feeling that about you. Um, Cusper had let it go, let it flow. So, Cusper, you, that was definitely what their reading was about letting the emotions out, holding uh, their heart so close after going through so many different uh, relationships that was disappointing to them that they were just uh, needed to open up and stop holding their heart back because they could be missing what a beautiful opportunity. And I feel with all that glitters, that is it. There's a relationship that is shining that is feels good for the both, but someone is working on trying to open up towards you. And I feel like whatever you're doing with this person or how you're showing up with this to this person is it they they're afraid. Like it's like it's too good to be true. It's not a bad thing. Give me one more spirit. Give me one more card here. Uh TikTok. Mm, we got two. Following the path of another. Yeah, following the path of another, what else came out? You are here for a purpose, learning and re realizing what, learning and realize what matters to you. I feel that's your person, that they're going through a, 
a phase of learning, uh, of healing. I, I really, I feel like this person knows what completes them, what feels good, and divine timing is here. But they're struggling with opening up. No longer holds the power over you. Um, I'm also hearing this person may have a past connection that may have had power over them. It could have been codependent. It could have been something that they dreamed of or they focused on or they thought that that was the commitment or the person for them. And your aura is 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 protected it's loyal and they are struggling with that but you're trying to get someone to truly open up and know that what you feel for them is real this is what i'm hearing okay let's go on let's get some terror out of here out here and see what's going on perhaps this is for that and perhaps it's just a a side message for some of you cancers, okay? But I'm going to leave no longer a uh, hose power over you out here. And I'm going to leave a leg up for I just feel that has a lot to do with it. And that you have a purpose in this relationship. Or this person has a purpose in a relationship with you. Both of you have a purpose for each other. And I can't help but feel that it's about him. Oh, the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like your first card out is Ten of Pentacles. This is strong. This is building a foundation. This is being solid. This is trust and love and commitment, collaborating families, getting married, engagement. It's like having it all. Like this is the time for you and this person to have it all. I can't help but feel that this person has been through some things and they're really struggling. Okay. So we have our first card out is the Ten of Pentacles. This is beautiful. This is completion also. This is a completion of what it is you want, what this person desires. I'm also hearing this person wants a family. This person wants a commitment. You want a commitment. You want a family. You want a place to feel love. They want a place to feel love, a place to, uh, 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 a beginning, to, uh, a path to build. Let's see what we got here. Let's go. Crossing is the Ace of Swords. This is the truth. This relationship is the truth is what I'm hearing. It's been guided, the universe, divine timing, it's here. It's like some what's grounding this for you, Cancer, is you see it. You know that there's a situation that you're dealing with that truly is like almost like you feel you have uh, some type of synchronicities going on. Maybe you guys passed somehow. Um may seem like you both came over the same obstacles. If it was trust, it was uh, learning how to love and care for yourself and what it is you needed to give in a relationship, how to build a relationship, a true trusting relationship with one another. Your past immediate, in your recent past, immediate recent past, this is Eight of Swords. It's... um. Feeling like in certain situations and relationships you was in, you felt stuck. You didn't know whether to go to left or right. You may even feel whatever you did in the relationships or whatever other people did in the relationship. It just made you feel stuck. You wasn't happy. You wasn't confident in the direction. Now we got the Queen of Pentacles, and that's in your strength. So this is you understanding that you have so much um to offer this is the builder this is the wife this is the committed person this is financial this is luxury love caring investing like i feel like your strength is the ability to invest into a situation with all of the growth and the lessons that you've learned what you don't see coming towards you is the ace of pentacles this is absolutely beautiful 
This is absolutely beautiful energy. This is energy of you working on yourself. This is why this person is afraid of you, Cancer. This person sees you with the ability to build. And if you've talked with this person about your past, being stuck, being confused, um, not having the... <sighs> okay, hold on, Cancer. Give me a minute with this. I feel like cancer in the past, you felt that you've been tied up in relationships that always made you feel like you were less than, like you didn't have enough to offer, like maybe you wasn't stable. This is what I'm hearing. But I feel this is a time of you coming out of that. Like whatever actions or people or situation was around you, you're evolving. You're, you're changing those things. Like you're changing people, places, and things around you that no longer serve you. Your hopes and fears is the five of ones. It's conflict. Conflict within yourself. The ability to... to, to Fight for what it is you truly want now. Or your ability to feel your hopes and fears is that you hoping that this is a situation that you don't have to fight off competition. Or to get someone, um, I'm hearing to get someone to realize that this is not right. Y'all know this five of ones for me if you've been on my channel for a while. I always call the five of ones like a shit show. Um, but this is not. And then this could be competing energies. You you know that you don't want to have to compete against anyone to have that fiery and perfect person. Not that they're so perfect, but they're perfect for you. This is what I'm hearing. You feel someone is perfect for you. And the surrounding energy is nine of ones. Like you've been through a lot. You've been guarded, wounded warriors. Time is has changed for you, but you're looking at what it is that you've been through and you just didn't give up. You're tired though. You're tired of um and I feel like this may be even there, right? Because this is the energy around you. This person you're dealing with, they've been through a lot. And they're tired and they probably have their guards up. And here you come, right, with what they don't see, this Ace of Pentacles stand on right in the face, which is happy as you got the Ten of Pentacles. It's family, it's stable, it's, it's stable energy, it's protected aura is what I'm hearing. It's loyal. I almost feel that someone feels you're too good to be true. And the outcome, you have uh, the Knight of Wands. This is very passionate movement towards a situation. Yes, the Knight of Wands sometimes can represent in and out energy. And I feel this may be in the outcome. We're going to clarify, though. Maybe this person feels that it is so passionate and it feels so good that it's not going to stay. They're afraid that what you're offering them won't stay or that maybe it's only for a small length of time. We have the King of Wands under the bottom. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Four of Wands, stability, balanced, love, happiness, joy, family, commitment. I feel rebuilding a structure, rebuilding a home. Someone's moving, moving together with someone else. Someone, I mean, they have the ability to really have something and grow and have it's just like I feel that there's a relationship that needs to come together here by the universe and the truth needs to be seen in it. Someone needs to accept it for what it is. And the truth is that this is the truth that this is your ten of pentacles. This is your person. You can nourish and care and someone feels protecting their heart is necessary. 
but they see you. They see what you're offering. Ace of Pentacles, like the universe, the divine is bringing this together. And I feel it's because of all of the hurt and the pain and the disappointment that's been in the environment around them, whether it was family, friends, job, mindset, conflict, other energies that was coming in and out, non-committal. But this is an opportunity for growth, for building, for happiness, for joy, for family. I feel that somebody's being very strategic in how they deal with you. And it's only because they're afraid. Because what you offer in them makes them feel vulnerable is what I'm hearing. They're like, how could this be the one? I thought past ones was the one or whatever, but it's just like, let's clarify. Let's, let's just clarify here, right, Cancer? I'm hearing, Cancer, your emotions is running wild when it comes to someone. And theirs are too, but they're not really telling you that, but they feel it. This is what I'm hearing. It's like, I don't see a lot of cups out here, so I'm feeling like these are hidden emotions. Because they're afraid. If you're wondering if this person is really truly feeling you, the answer is yes. It's a source again under the bottom. This is the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Because you may have to, and I'm not saying wait, but maybe you already know. Maybe, the, you know, with the, with the hermit card, faith, time out uh the spirit guides are leading you or, or guiding you in a way of how to deal with this situation how to deal with this person i'm also feeling it's you could be a, a healer you could be healer of emotions for this person they also can be healing emotionally to you but i'm just hearing a lot of trust is necessary like Somebody has to work on their trust and their fears. Yeah, the queen of wands, this is, somebody's very magnetic, it's very passionate. Someone, either it's you, Cancer, or the person you're dealing with, you see them very fiery, very gorgeous or handsome, <clears throat> very attracted to them, or they're very attracted to you. You see them as a, a powerful person, a person that knows what they want. But this person sees that about you. Okay, let's clarify. Let's first clarify uh, the Ten of Pentacles here. <clears throat> let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Cancer Spirit. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Ah. <sighs> Ooh. Listen, Cancer. <laughs> Is the Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups, the Emperor, and the Five of Swords. This is cutting out the fears that this is not it. The Ten of Swords definitely is a time of competition, trying to win at all costs. This may be you, Cancer, knowing you're this person's like emperor, empress, it doesn't matter that they're your ten of cups, they're your wish fulfillment. You want to have a family with this person. You want to offer what it is that you have. You want to build your ten of cups, uh, have your ten of cups and build your ten of pentacles, or they are your ten of pentacles. And the five of swords represents like, I have to have this. Like it's very strong energy of, of cutting things away. Like I also feel like you may feel like, With the Five of Swords, it's realizing, it's almost like you're trying to assure someone that whatever in the past, feeling like they was in a competition for someone's love, competing to build or have a Ten of Cups or a Ten of Pentacles, it's like you, you, you're trying to ensure them that this is not that. 
that there is no competition when it comes to them and you. That's what I'm hearing. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords. This person may feel like, this person may also feel like by you being too good to be true that maybe you have other options or you're still searching or looking for other options. That's because they feel you're too good to be true, Cancer. Ace of Swords, Spirit. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Cancer. Oh, man. This is, this is so beautiful. The Eight of Swords is an open cup full of emotions. I feel that this is, you know, clarifying the Ace of Swords. This is truth, divine downloads. This is guidance. This is true love. This is emotionally grounded love that is meant to be. Cancer, I feel like your heart's so open for someone. And I feel like it's almost as if you, you feel the emotions and the love from someone else. It's almost like you know that they're ready and that they're for you. It's like you got downloads or synchronicities that this is your person. It's like you got enough love for, it's like I could carry, you know, and Cancer, you know how you guys are so emotional, but this is like you telling somebody the truth. I got enough love for the both of us. I just need you to trust and believe that you're it. It's like, you know, something that they feel, but in their mind, they are not connecting with it, but their emotions is driving them towards you. Their emotions is, is connected it's like what however you're showing up and whatever you're giving them in this cup they feeling it but they are so afraid because they're i'm feeling like they're overwhelmed with what you're offering let's see what grounding this is the truth is being enlightened and spiritual guidance it's seeing the direction. Ah, oh, higher, higher commitment. This is a higher commitment relationship. Being prepared by the divine. This is you understanding your beliefs when it comes to commitment. I'm also hearing like I know how to love. I know how to be committed and true towards you. I know how to be honest, open, and free. Cancer, I feel you want a commitment with someone. And this, this is what you've been searching for. Well, you feel this is your person that you've, like, you've went through what you've went through when it comes to relationships and, right, hard times or guarded, conflict, five of swords, trying to win people's love or attention. Also here, like, This is a higher commitment. This is, I don't know, I'm hearing in the background attention seeking. I don't know what that means. Maybe you know, whatever, but it's attention seeking. Like someone's either been attention seeking, maybe they've been trying to find someone or trying to show up in a certain way to get attention. Um, and it's not in a bad way. It's just they were not complete. They was not being loved the way they should have been loved or the love they was given, they wasn't getting back. And so they were doing different things to search out for attention and love and emotion, con or emotional connection. Whether it's you, Cancer, or the person you're dealing with. Let's see. The past, recent past energy is the Eight of Swords. Feeling stuck. Feeling like you just didn't know if you should make any moves left or right. Four of Swords, you went in and started healing, right? You knew you couldn't stay stuck like that anymore. And I felt like in the past, you just realized that you needed to heal certain situations, maybe even how you seen yourself 
and how you were showing up. I'm also hearing in the recent past, you know, you started realizing to be grateful for who you are and the changes and the things. And accepting, I'm hearing the losses and the wins. That you just started being grateful and started healing. You may have did some solitude. Made me more spiritually connected to the divine or spirit guides. You're higher you now. Loving yourself more, understanding yourself. Like there's some work you've done in order to even be at the place where you could offer this to someone. Okay, spirit. What is the queen of, of pentacles about? And that's your strength, the ability to grow and commit. Page, yeah, you, the offer is here. You are able to offer love and commitment. And a page of pentacles is fresh new start. It's a new beginning. Maybe you don't have as much is what I'm hearing. Or you do have a lot, but you only offer very little because it's a fresh start. And or either this person is you have a lot that you're offering them in the beginning, in the door. And maybe a page of pentacles is because they're afraid of this new beginning. They don't want to invest a whole lot right away, but I hear that they want to invest, right? Because this page of Pentacles turns to an ace of Pentacles. So that's what you don't see, Cancer. You may need to be a little patient with this person because if this is what you don't see is they're, they're going to show up. They may take, it may take just a little bit more time than it may not happen right away, but the offer is there. The commitment is there. I feel like cancer, they see you. They see how nourishing and caring and stable and loving you are, male or female, it doesn't matter. They see you have the ability to nourish situations and not only that, yourself. And to be able to nourish and care and have a growing relationship. I don't know. I'm hearing a lot about trust. I, I'm hearing cheating, lying, codependency. I, I'm hearing this in the background. And someone just feels like what you offer is it's, it's fresh and it's genuine. What? Tell us more about this Ace of Pentacles from the Divine, this gift. Oh my goodness. Nine of Cups and Nine of Swords. We're talking nine, nine here. Life path, that's the end of old to begin a new, a new cycle. This is some anxiety at night about this. This person sees that you fulfill a lot. Um, they see that, just say they were manifesting this person and um, they may have had a, a list or something. And now the cups is you've just, you've checked off everything and it scares them. This is what I'm hearing. Six of cups, happiness and joy. Um, soulmate. And it's, it scares them, but not enough that they don't see you as a wish fulfillment. They see you. They are trying to accept that, but they may be nervous. This is what I'm hearing, nervous. I don't know. I'm seeing like in the uh, the animal uh, spirit cards, like the, 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 the rat with sparks, everything around them, and very nervous and intimidated a little bit because of your love because of what you're offering, what you're bringing towards them, but it's not like it's mal intent. They're just scared. They're scared to trust and open up. I feel they've been through a lot and they looking at this like, is this it? Is this truly now my wish fulfillment? And they're struggling with that, Cancer. Or it's you. Y'all can interchange this anyway, but I'm looking at this from, this feels like an outside energy. Uh, someone that you are moving towards or you want in your life. And if not, then it's the opposite way. This is the way 
they see you kind of afraid of this wish fulfillment, but they see you as their wish fulfillment. Or you see them and you're afraid of really opening up and looking and, you know, feeling like, is this your wish fulfillment? Just a little timid, but the emotions are here. The With the ace of swords and the ace of cups, this ace, ace. This is beautiful. And then with the Ace of Pentacles, that's three aces. That's truth, emotions, and that's the 3D. That's financially, prosperity, abundance. And someone could be both, though. Could be both of you in the energies of... Maybe anxiety, nervousness of coming towards each other, committing to each other, and really, ex I just feel this is an explosion of emotions towards one another, like a passion. Like, I'm also hearing, like, if so, it's like with the six of um, cups under the bottom, I'm also feeling like childlike energy. Um, when I say not like a child, child, but energy that freedom the freedom like this person makes you feel free okay in your hopes and fears there's the five of wands clarify mm. yeah your your hopes and fears Let's clarify yeah the real source is on the bottom so afraid that heartbreak will repeat itself uh the strength card the chariot and then we have the hermit now in reverse somebody sees the truth in this someone knows they have to have the strength to move forward against all odds because the truth has been enlightened um and and what they've been enlightened with right the hermit is this is not going to be a shit show this but you will have to have the strength to know that you deserve this and that this is brought in with these aces by the universe, divine timing. And someone here is definitely knowing that they have the strength to move forward in this situation with you or you with them. Someone still may be looking for guidance, feeling like, you know, they don't have all the answers that they need. And that's only because the, of the fears that they have of the past relationship, which is the nine of ones. And somebody could be very tired and maybe even felt that they wasn't even going to be in a relationship or they were going to be single. Uh, they weren't even going to work on having relationships and commitments. But the universe has a different plan. This is what I see. Like the universe, like this energy you have, this energy that they have, it's a committal energy. It's a, a soul made. It's it's a, a time to, if there has been hurt and pain and you wanted someone to love and trust and believe in, the leg up is that. This is finally getting a leg up emotionally, loving and caring in a situation that can grow and definitely move forward. But with the Herman in reverse, someone still afraid or searching for answers. The three of swords under the bottom, they've been hurt. So someone could still be working through the rims of heartbreak in the past, third party energies. The nine of uh, wands, spirit, clarify the nine of wands for cancer. Mm -hmm. Six of wands in reverse. Yeah, this person is tired of this. And this is in your, let me get one more before I say Okay, because so this is in your surroundings. Yeah. So, in the surroundings of where this person has been, this nine, clarifying this nine of ones, this is a wounded warrior, this person has been through a lot. What they've been through, Cancer, is... They haven't had a victory in relationships. They haven't been seen in certain relationships. Certain relationships, they showed up and they 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 felt used and abused in some relationships. This is what I'm hearing in some connections. 
uh, people didn't see their worth or they took advantage of it. Also, uh, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Um, and then we have the Four of Wands in reverse. This is this person's been through a lot, okay? They've been in relationships that passionately didn't fulfill them. They couldn't build in it. It wasn't happiness. It wasn't love. And it may have started out if they really wanted to invest and put in, but the nine of one show they've been through a lot. All this in reverse, it didn't turn out the way they anticipated, the way they wanted it, no matter how much they put into it, how much passion they put into it, how much they wanted to have a family or build a foundation or uh, have a victory. It's all in reverse. It didn't work. So you have to understand where this person is coming from. I feel this may be a recent situation that they may have just walked away from. And they are so afraid of all of this. They may still be healing. But this, but this is your person's dream to have a victory, a very passionate relationship, a stable relationship, love and family and commitment, someone that they can trust and really open up and have. And I feel you're coming towards them with this energy that they have in reverse, that they have just walked away from. So it's scary to them. It's hard for them to accept it and realize that, that perhaps this is truly what the divine has for them because they're still... Like with the hermit in reverse, someone is, is is having a hard time with accepting this from you or you with them. The outcome is the knight of wands, the knight of wands. So that's quick energy. It's coming in very passionate. We do have the Eight of Swords again under the bottom. Someone feeling like, you know, they don't know if they should go left or go right. Feeling stuck. But I feel they're stuck in their mind. They're not stuck in their emotions because they feel this connection. They feel the emotions for you. They want to trust it, but their mind is playing games on them. The mind is being the trickster where you know how things didn't work out and how you was very passionate and how you always wanted to be successful in a relationship and it hasn't worked out. And if this is fresh, then it's going to take a, just a little bit more patience is what I'm hearing. Why divine continues to work on this person's heart or mindset. It doesn't have to, the heart clearly I'm feeling this person's heart clearly reaches for yours. And I'm not telling anyone to wait on anyone because I don't. I feel you keep moving forward. You keep doing you. You keep healing. Um, you could be a support to this person, but you don't stop your healing and moving forward. Okay? Because maybe you're there just to help this person get past the point of, I don't. I don't know. Hold on a minute, guys. Let's see. Why is this Knight of Wands here with this energy, this passion energy? That the Knight of Wands is here because of the King of Wands knows what they want. It's Knight of Wands, but it's going straight into the King of Wands. Knows, sees, and knows what they want with the Two of Swords. A decision has to be made here in the outcome. We have the devil card under the bottom, which I feel is a, a, a decision to release the old karmic relationships, the old karmic mindset, some toxic things that keeps them from moving forward and really taking a hold to this relationship that the divine has in front of them, which I feel it's a healing relationship. It's commitment. It's joy. It's happiness. And it's what they've been looking for, but... They have to make the choice. Like, yeah. Like, got the King of Cups in reverse. <sighs> with the King of Cups in, in reverse, this person may be fighting with their emotions to be stable in their emotions. They, they could be trying to hold it back. They may have a lot, you know, they like maybe, maybe you have some connection, sexually connected. But the emotion part, they're trying to guard it with everything. The Two of Swords 
It's like they see you or you see them and there's a lot of passion here. But when it comes to sharing and open up towards you uh, and talking emotionally about how they feel about you in this connection and what it is they want in this connection, the Two of Swords is there. So they can probably talk about passion and have fun and joy and maybe just regular dating. And But when it comes to opening up emotionally, this person is holding back. Why is this person holding back on Cancer? Or is this you, Cancer? Whoever, whoever. The King of Cups is emotionally balanced and loving. Why? Ah, the devil again. <sighs> there's something holding this person back, holding you back. I don't, it could be a karmic connection. There's a codependency. There's some mindset. It just won't let these emotions be free. Knight of Pentacles again, slowly moving forward, being very strategic. I feel that this person, oh, you know, what I'm also hearing this person feels it so deeply because the devil card doesn't always mean uh, uh, just, you know, toxic behavior. It could mean a very passionate connection that scares. I just said that this person is afraid of the passion of, of the way you're showing up, what you're offering or you them. But it's because... Not all karmic connections are bad. Like, it's just a lot of passion. Maybe somebody feels something that they've never felt before. I'm also hearing, I thought I was in love before, but not like this. I've never felt love like this. And that could be it. It is so passionate. Anything else in this outcome? Why is this devil card here? Ten of Swords. It is the end. I'm also hearing... Like, that's the end of any toxic behavior, any lying, deception, disappointments. But you got to let it end in the mind. Got the three of pentacles under the bottom. Somebody is willing to work with you. They see the truth, and this offer is necessary for it to come in. This offer is meant. Like, I also feel somebody got their head down. They're so afraid to... Oh, but I see the universe saying, oh, no, we're going to take care of this. Look at here. We have the four, uh, five of cups with the death card. This is the universe taking over now. This is the universe saying, okay, yeah, you've been disappointed and had some losses, but we're ending that, that uh, emotional set that you have of loss and confusion and not holding your head up, turning your back. Like, it's, it's getting over. This is letting go. And the reason they're letting it go, because we have the knight of, of the king. I'm sorry. Is this great? The king of pentacles. That's balance. That's a beautiful offer, right? That's the right offer coming in after a heartache. Um, and somebody realizing it, yes, when it's with communication. And it's coming in quick. So... Someone may be very five of ones under the bottom. Someone may be very conflicted with their emotions towards you, how to show up, how to accept this commitment, and how to move forward in it. But the universe is stepping in for healing, ending that cycle of this person feeling lost like they can't move forward. That's the outcome. And then you have the eight of ones. Like the universe could be giving them downloads or something's happening in this connection that brings it to a more balance. So then we have the queen of pentacles and then we have the king of pentacles like both abundant in their own way like both of you are abundant in your own way like been through some things okay that's what i have for you guys i i, I really do let's uh, I, I guess i'm just a love reader now <laughs> i don't know because i can't seem to just get uh his judgment one more spirit. This is closing card. One more. We got judgment. Okay, spirit said there's two cards. All right, and they face down. So I feel that when they come down, some come out. Sometimes I feel it like face down is what's coming towards you. You're not even aware, but it's about to happen. But first and foremost, there's a judgment on this relationship. Soul searching will bring inner. Um, 
inner peace for many areas of your life. Yeah, this person is soul searching. You're soul searching like what's right for you, right? This is the book of life. The This is the lessons you've learned. You look at this book, it's open and look at the, it's like the, um, it's like a cloud, but like a genie or, or request, like putting it out into the universe uh, for answers, for help. And that soul searching within you to understand that you deserve love and you deserve to have someone in your life that truly understands and meets your energy. Okay. The other card that came out is chariot. Yes. And as you realize this, you're moving forward in this connection. Oh, I'm telling you the last, uh, who is that? One of the readings is he's a Gemini, a Gemini cancer cause had this lion and it says harness the loyal and perf wait a minute. Let's see. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. Okay. Like you got to and, and, Rather, this is you continue to move forward towards this person. Like the universe is working in the background because I feel you feel emotionally attached already. Or this person feels emotionally attached to you. And there's, I feel like there's something, this is assignment. I could feel this is assignment for the both of you to come together and roar and more like move forward. Like, all the hurt and the pain was makes this relationship stronger, makes it more committal, makes it a, available to accept the, the love for one another and to build up on that faithfully. This is what I'm hearing. Faithfully. That is, that is what I got for you. <laughs> Cancer, if it resonates with you, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys on your next read. Bye.